Hi guys, so today we're going to cover dynamic remarketing using AdWords for your Shopify websites. First things first, let's just touch on what is dynamic remarketing and how does it compare to kind of uh, normal remarketing. So with, uh, with normal remarketing, you would be showing the same types of adverts to everyone. They wouldn't be customized on a per user basis. Whereas with dynamic remarketing, you're going to display uh, products that the uh, customer has previously, or potential customer, should I say, uh, has previously looked at on your website and so it's very tailored to their interests um, and traditionally speaking uh, you get a higher conversion rate with dynamic remarketing because of this. So before you begin there's a couple of things you need to have set up already. Uh, you need to have your Shopify store, your AdWords account, uh, you need to create a product feed within Shopify and um, there's like two main apps I would say with the Shopify to do this. There's the Shopify uh, Google Shopping app and then there's Retail Tower. Um, we're gonna cover kind of how to uh, do this using both of them. And uh, then you need to have linked your product feed to Merchant Center and then have linked Merchant Center to AdWords. Uh, so if you've already set up a Google Shopping campaign then you actually have already done all of this and you're good to go. So we're going to cover today uh, how to create the remarketing tag, how to add liquid variables to it, which means um, when it's on your site, you'll be able to pull in the uh, product details that the customers or the potential customers are viewing. And then uh, we're going to add that to your Shopify template, test to verify that it's working. And then uh, we're going to create a custom audience. So audience is kind of like a Google, uh, AdWords phrase for like the people you're going to target using remarketing and we're going to create a custom audience today because uh, we want to target perhaps everyone who's visited the site except for those that have uh, actually bought something and turned into customers and lastly we're going to do the fun creative bit and uh, build the ads. So first let's set up the remarketing tag. Uh, so if you go to your AdWords dashboard and then uh, from here, in campaigns, go down to shared library, and then go to audiences. Um, so if you haven't set this up before, you'll see a screen that looks a bit like this. Um, you want to tick that you're using dynamic ads. The business type is retail, and then click to start remarketing. This will take you to a screen that looks very similar to this. Um, you have the option to email uh, yourself or someone else the code. But we want to just go to the section that says view AdWords remarketing tag and instructions. So here you can uh, grab the code and paste it into a text editor. And now we've got the remarketing code. The next thing we need to do is to replace the product ID, page type and total value with some liquid code. The way, the way that we're going to do this is to uh, change it based upon whether or not we're using the Retail Tower app or the Shopify Google Shop Shopping app. The reason for this is that the product ID varies based upon how you generate it. So without going into the details, uh, these are the different versions that you'll need. Uh, the Ecom product ID for Retail Tower is very basic and then it's slightly more complex for the Google Shopping app. So I will include the code in the post and you can just copy and paste this based upon your version. Let's start by uh, copying this in and I'll show you how to uh, insert this into the Shopify website. So we're just going to replace the values with the example text. Then you go to your dashboard, go to themes, edit the HTML CSS. You want to open the theme.liquid layout, scroll right to the bottom and just before the closed body tag, paste that code in. Then you can save the code and we would like to test this now. So load up your site, then navigate to a 
product on the site. If you haven't already got it installed, I would recommend you get an application or a Chrome extension called uh, Google Tag Assistant. Once that's, once that's installed, uh, open the extension, go to remarketing tag, have a look at the code, uh, sorry, have a look at the request even. And so this should uh, correlate to your product. The total value should be correct. Page type should be product. And then you would anticipate the product ID to be a value that matches a product in your merchant center. The kind of ultimate verification is when you go over to the remarketing validation tab, put your merchant center ID in here and hit validate. And if it can uh, match up a product in the merchant center with this ID, then it will return validated. So yeah, that's how to, that's how to get it validated and tested. The next thing that we are going to look at is how to set up the remarketing audiences. The way we do this is to go into the AdWords interface. Um, say you're in the Campaigns tab, uh, go to Shared Library, and uh, go to Audiences. <laughs> and you should see that uh, AdWords has populated uh, some audiences in here already. Maybe not this many, but there should be some. And uh, what we want to do now is to create first an audience that will just target uh, people who visited like your thank you page, which is uh, kind of verification that they've actually bought something. And so we'll get a list then of the people who've uh, turned to customers. And then what we're going to do is create a custom uh, list, which will be all visitors to your site minus the ones that have made a purchase. So to do this, we go to create a new remarketing list and we're going to call it um, customers. We're going to say they uh, visited the website and they visited the page, and we're going to put in the URL of the thank you page. Now, this varies slightly based upon whether or not you're using the uh, old checkout or the new responsive checkout. I will also link to this code in the post. Um, so let's go with the responsive checkout. I prefer it. <laughs> And so uh, URL contains this value and then save that list. Next, we create our custom list. So uh, this is all visitors to the site, uh, minus customers. And here we're going to choose a custom combination. We're going to say uh, we want all visitors and then we're going to say, but none of this list, and that's going to be uh, customers. So we're saying we want everyone from the audience list minus uh, those from the customers list. Save that, and there we go. So now we have our custom audience set up. We're ready to go ahead and create some ads. To create the ads, we want to uh, go back to the campaigns tab and choose to create a new campaign and this time choose a display network only campaign. Uh, let's call this our amazing uh, dynamic remarketing uh, campaign. Uh, type, so choose no marketing objective if that's what you see. Then uh, pick the location you want to target, uh, maybe the US or whatever. Um, on the languages, I choose all languages just because it's possible that your uh, site visitors are using Google in a different uh, interface. So that they might have it set to Spanish or whatever. And then um, we want to set a budget and I would suggest whatever you're reasonable, uh, whatever's reasonable for you. Delivery method, I, again, I choose accelerated here, and that's because uh, we don't really want Google to choose when to display our ads, just display them when it's, when it's uh, appropriate. And the most important thing is right at the bottom to choose dynamic ad settings, uh, tick the box that we're using dynamic uh, ads, 
it's retail business type again, and then choose your merchant center feed. Uh, chances are you've only got one here, so pick that one. And yeah, save that. Next thing is we're going to create the ad group and choose the audience uh, that we want to target. We're gonna leave that as the default. We're gonna put a max uh, a CPC of two pounds. Um, again, pick what's reasonable. And then you choose uh, interests and remarketing. On the category, you want to choose remarketing lists. And we want to choose the list that we just set up. So I believe that was all visitors to the site minus customers. Um, and then I would suggest initially untick the box that says let AdWords automatically find new customers. And that's just because uh, initially we want to go with the ones that we know are customers. And you can expand the targeting after that. Um, so sort of here's the, the fun part, if you like. Um, if everything's working, uh, when this loads, you should see the products being pulled into the ads. And uh, I have seen it occasionally where you've got everything set up correctly, but the products aren't being pulled in. And that's usually just because there's only like one or two products in the merchant center feed. Um, okay, so now we want to kind of customize the ad. And this is Dan's personal preference. You might want to spend some time uh, matching the ad uh, color scheme and, and design to your website. Uh, but basically, like, first thing is to put in a logo. Uh, I've already got one that I've uploaded. So we've got a logo, uh, put some headline text. Uh, let's say, I don't know, UK's uh, number one pressure, uh, pressure washer supplier. And um, maybe change the button to buy now. And then, uh, yeah, the color schemes you can kind of mess about with uh, whenever. In terms of um, what else is important on this screen, just to flag up. So um, it would default to click behavior, navigate to a product URL, and that's great. Um, that way, when someone clicks on the product, they'll go to the right product page. So when you're done playing about with that, uh, when you select review and finish, it's going to dynamically create all the different uh, versions, uh, sorry, sizes of the ad um, that it might require. And this is great because um, different websites uh, have different kind of banners or banner sizes, and this will make your ads applicable for all of them. Also, it creates not just Flash, but HTML5, and that's really beneficial because I think some of the highest converting devices will be iPads, and uh, they're not compatible with Flash, they'll just work with the HTML5. So yeah, it's all looking reasonable for, for now. Uh, save that, and then save the ads. And then at this point, you'll have a campaign live that um, has your ads created, has your audiences linked, and uh, initially it, it won't run, and that's just because um, if you've just added the uh, remarketing code to your website, then you need a little bit of time to build the list. I believe the number for display is 100, so once you have um, 100 unique visitors uh, within 30 days, then that kind of uh, triggers AdWords to start displaying ads um, or remarketing ads. So I hope that's been really useful. I hope I've been able to kind of answer all the questions you might have on that. But if not, then just uh, get in touch with me, like leave a comment, or like drop me a message and I'll do my best to help out on that front. Thanks very much.